Hello and welcome to PLCCable.com. In this tutorial we're going to be configuring a 1756-ENBT Control Logix communication card. This is a standard, just a typical configuration of a 1756A4 4 slot rack with a 1756 L64 CPU along with the ENBT that we're going to be configuring. There are several ways of doing this. Today we're going to be plugging in our 1756-CP3 USB cable into the L64 processor and configuring our ENBT by drilling down in the rack communications. So first let's open up our device manager. I have a shortcut. And you'll notice that our cable set up on COM2, so that's how we're going to be doing our initial configuration. If you need help with that, you can see our website for more procedures on setting up that. Now we're going to open up RS Links and we're going to configure our driver. And I'm going through this kind of fast. Like I said, if you need help with this, you can see our website and I go in through more detail with it. This is the L64 that we have that we're doing our communication with. If we drill down through this we can see that our ENBT is on slot 3 starting at 0. That's the fourth slot in the rack. We can right click on it module configuration and then under the port configuration tab so by default it's set up by dynamic but we're going to use the static and that way we can configure our IP address to stay that way and we don't have to worry about it changing in the future you may need to consult your IT or your local IT department to find out what IT addresses are available. We're going to use forty four and our mask is two five five two five five two five five. And just apply this. And this is a just letting you know that you're changing the communication. Select OK. Now we can set up a, an Ethernet IP driver. This is the node address of this PC. So it's 192.168.0.5. This is the new driver that we just created. And now this has found our new configured. And we can actually go backwards and see our 64 now. So we can disconnect our serial cable. And this should turn red eventually. And then this is going to be our primary communication now. And that's how do you set a static IP address. If you need more help, see our website at plccable.com. Thank you.